All right, joining us now, our good friend, Senator Rick Scott from the great state of Florida. Senator Scott, thank you, sir. I know you're busy. First question I want to ask is, I know they're gunning for you. Uh, how are you doing in your race down in Florida? Well, first off, Larry, you should come down. It's a ball to campaign. I've traveled the state. I've been to every county multiple times. I'm uh, talking to voters. We're working to get our vote out. So if you have an absolute ballot, vote it. If you can vote early in your state, including Florida, get out there and vote so we can lock in your vote and make sure Donald Trump has a big win so we get a new president and we take a majority of the Senate to make sure we keep a majority in the House and we start the process of changing the direction of this country. But I'm having a ball, campaigning every day, working hard to win. But you're right. Schumer, the Democrats, they're throwing everything they can at me. It's all a bunch of lies. They can't run on the issues, so they run on lies. Yeah, running on lies. Well, that seems to be... Um kind of a democratic thing this year. Anyway, um, stories are running. It's, I want to talk about Senate, Senate leadership, but mo let me begin with the fundraising part. There's a story running today, Mitch McConnell not doing the fundraising, not giving the money. I mean, there's a bunch of really good Senate candidates who could easily win and give the GOP, I don't know, four, 53, 54 seats in the Senate, if not more. And it says basically Rick Scott, John Thune, and John Corn, and the three of you are trying to pick up the slack because McConnell is missing in action. Uh, is it true, and are you doing that, and are you succeeding in putting money in these key races where um, the former leader is not? Well, you know, as far as defense, Ted Cruz and I have the hardest races to uh, defend, and he's not helped us. Um, actually, I mean, uh, McConnell came out in the last two weeks and has attacked Trump and has attacked me, mm -hmm. both of us in the middle of uh, elections, which is just hard to believe. Uh, but look, we're, we're, everybody's working, you know, working hard. I think we're getting a majority. I think Tim Shee's going to win in Montana. I think Bernie, Rain, Bernie Moreno's going to win in Ohio. If we all get our votes out, if everybody goes and votes, then we're going to have a majority, and we've got a great chance to pick up P uh, Pennsylvania and Michigan and Wisconsin and Nevada, uh, Arizona, and maybe some others. So we just got to vote, vote, vote vote. Uh, but you're right. McConnell's not helping Ted. He's not helping me. Uh, we've, got to, we've got to have new leadership. I'm running to be the uh, Republican leader, and if we're a majority, be the majority leader, because we clearly have to change the direction of this country and the, and the way the Senate's been run. So let's see, what is McConnell, why, is he, why is he attacking you, as you say, during election season? And what, what's the nature of his attack? What's he saying? Well, he, he doesn't like the fact that I actually believe we ought to have a plan. Mm. He doesn't think we ought to have a plan. He doesn't think we ought to run on anything. I, uh, look, I, I, can, I campaign every day. I tell you what people want. What are you going to do, Rick? What are you going to get done? When are you, you going to balance that budget, buddy? How about you going to secure that border? What are you, you going to do about the Pledge of Allegiance, getting, making sure our, our kids get great education, funding the police? I mean, they're asking for a plan. And McConnell says, no, no, we're not going to have a plan. So I want to get things done. I want to support President Trump when he's the president. And that's why I'm running to be the leader. We've got to have somebody in Washington that's going to say, you know what? We're going to represent the Republican voters in this country, not the Washington establishment. Now, if you win, you'll be um, running in the Senate leadership campaign. You've got yourself, uh, John Thune, South Dakota, John Cornyn of Texas. Uh, all good men. What's the difference between the three of you? you? I know you believe you can win. You told me that on the radio. What, what are the, what's the difference between, let's say, your campaign, your candidacy, and Mr. Cornyn's or uh, Mr. Thune's? Well, I tell people, I just, I'm very clear what I, uh, you know, I would do. I'm a business guy. I built the largest hospital company in the world. I built a bunch of manufacturing companies. And the way you do it is you create objectives, you build a management team, you set a plan, and you work your plan every day, and you measure your results. We've got to do the exact same thing in the Senate. President Trump's going to need our support to get his nominees through the Senate. We have to have a plan. We, if we want to balance a budget, we have to have a plan. If we want to secure the border, we have to have a plan. And so that's what I did as a business guy. So what I believe is we ought to have a plan. We ought to work our plan. Every senator is important. Uh, and so I, and we've got to bring everybody together to get something accomplished. Uh, so that's what I bring to the table. Um, you know, John Corner and John Thune are great senators. So I'm just, I always tell people, this is what I bring to the table, and I want a big change. I don't, I don't like what's been going on in the Senate. Um, 
The, so I, I, I know that we can, we can do better. All right, we'll leave it there. Senator Rick Scott of Florida, thank you, sir. We appreciate you taking time out. Good luck on the campaign trail.